Okay, hi ladies, Hello. Lennon and Jessica. Hi. How, How are you? you? Great, thank you. Welcome to Mom Fair Live. We are so excited to be here and we're excited that you're here on Mom Fair TV because you guys are the creators of Playing House on yes, USA, are. right? Yes, we play two best friends and we are real best friends in real life. Mm -hmm. Who ha uh, I move in with this one to help her raise her baby after we kick her husband to the curb. And comedy ensues. Yes, yes. exactly. <laughs> Every woman's fantasy. <laughs> so tell me, I know, right? So tell me a little bit about your backgrounds and how this show came to fruition. Well, we both come from the improv comedy world, so we came up through a theater in New York called the Upright Citizens Brigade, where yeah. a lot of people that you see on TV now have gone through the, the ranks there. And, uh, and we wrote a show uh, for NBC called Best Friends Forever. It was like a short-lived sort of cult comedy. <laughs> <laughs> if you consider our cousins and our parents no, watching. millions of people watch it every week. Um, and uh, yeah, and so when when we had the opportunity to create a new show, this is what we came up with. Right. Amy Poehler was a big uh, mentor for us, so yeah. we kind of watched her do her own thing and you know make her own way in the comedy mm -hmm. world. And so that's that's really why we said, well, if we're gonna do it, we got to do it ourselves. And that's a good mentor to have because oh, yeah. she's a mom. Now, how many how many how many kids are there between the both of you? There's two right now between each the have both one. of us. Yes. Yeah, and they're about, there are two girls each five months apart. Yes. Okay, but it's a hard thing, would you say, to create yeah. a project and undertake such a huge endeavor when you have kids like that. What yes. is well, I was pregnant when we oh, did the... I, we, I you had were a 10-week-old when we started our writer's room. But when we shot the pilot, you I were was really... 34, eight, 32 eight months weeks. Pregnant. Yeah. So when you see this belly in the pilot, it really is a real belly, and it's I'm real. like manhandling her and I live with tossing her about. So how do you? Right. The, but it's a yeah. real thing though, because when you're talking to moms and working and work life yeah. balance and all that, how? Do, what is your biggest advice for women who <laughs> want to create? I mean, this is like a big question. What's your biggest advice for women who truly want to create something new for themselves mm -hmm. when they are dealing with? The pregnancy, the new child, the baby, yeah. the family, the husband at home. How do you focus? Well, you just try to stay standing upright. I mean, I remember a moment where we were always behind in breast milk. We were pumping. <laughs> I was always behind. This one always had a, a day in the freezer. And I spilled like eight ounces of breast milk on the, on the trailer floor. Liquid and I just gold. was like, for the first time in my life, speechless. I was like, okay. So that happened. Uh -huh. And then you have to just pick yourself up and say, okay, I'm just going to get through this first year, which is really hard. Yeah. And then it gets easier because when you're your own boss, you get to say, hey, you know what? I need to leave or these are the hours. And we, we kept a really family-friendly yeah. set. Everyone brought their kids to set for lunch. You know, there were always babies uh, running around. So I think it's like you put in the hard work and then hopefully it pays off in that you can. I think too it helps you need support. You can't do yeah. it. It's going to be really difficult to do by yourself. So doing it with your best friend helps. Yeah. Having support at home, either a husband or a caretaker that's going to be there so that when you go to work, you can really go to work and not be worried about your child. I think, I think that, that was the hardest for us is we had to really say when we're in the writer's room, we're in the writer's room. Yeah. We're not going to be constantly checking our phone and longing to be somewhere else. You know, uh -huh. it's like try to be present wherever you are, which is really hard. It yeah. is hard. Yeah. It's hard right now. I guess. Yes, I know. I know. There's babies at home. It's going, easy like, with you me. guys, but I'm thinking, yeah. wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> yeah. um, you're talking today as the closing presenter. Sure. What is the big message? Well, it's an interview, so we'll see. I know. <laughs> I think the one thing we'd say is like, don't wait for somebody else to give you what your dream yeah. is. Because if we had waited, we would still be sitting by the phone with terrible haircuts waiting in New York. <laughs> you know, we knew that we weren't going we to be able to get happen. cast in yeah. the show we wanted to, to be cast in. So we just decided to... And also don't wait to have a family if that's what you oh, want to yeah. do. Because do you it. can do it all at once. And it's crazy, but it's wonderful. Yeah. Because you guys are successful and everyone that's watching this is thinking, wow, they've done it. I want not to be like put on a damper, yeah. but I want to know what has been your biggest pitfall or failure or disappointment. 
Oh gosh, every day so, something I do. But um, something, I mean, even like years ago, if there was something that was just so disappointing, you know, you thought, I'm never gonna get to where. When our first show, BFF, got taken off the air, like we shot six episodes, and I think four episodes in, they pulled it because of the ratings. Now, if it was airing today, it would have been it's the biggest the, hit NBC big ever hit. had. But, <laughs> but um, <clears throat> we took that so hard because we had put our blood, sweat, yeah. and tears. Both of us ended up in the hospital, emergency room at various times of shooting. I mean, we left it all on the floor. Yeah, which I think you kind of, in some ways, have to do on your first thing. Uh -huh. But we, we learned a lesson, which is you can't give up your whole life for something because it, it will let you down ultimately. Mm -hmm. So we put a lot of boundaries in place for the next show of keeping ourselves healthy and enjoying mm -hmm. ourselves. And our friendship really does come first and our families come first. Mm -hmm. And the job comes second. Yeah. Um, so that was, yeah, we learned that one the hard way. <laughs> boundaries. That's going to be the message. Yeah. Boundaries, boundaries are huge and they're very hard, especially for women. We like to say yes to everything. Of course. And yeah. moms are fixers and helpers and all yes. of that stuff. But you have to set the boundary. Ooh, we got good It's going to be juicy. <laughs> all right. Where can we see your show? It's on the USA Network. You can watch it online, usanetwork.com or Seasons iTunes, one and two. Amazon. Um, yeah. yeah, and then we'll be back season three. We don't know when yet. We have to write it first, so yeah. <laughs> get back to us. We just got, we just got picked up. So yeah. you set your boundaries. Yes, and go back set to your writing. boundaries and go back to writing. <laughs> exactly. we got to get out of our sweatpants. Or, I don't know, maybe we'll just stay in stay them for the next sweat. couple yeah, months. Yeah. Well, you look good yeah. now. You can start now. Yeah. Thanks so Thanks much. Thanks so much. Thanks, Thanks. for having us. Thanks.